and they in fact had dyslexia. Now what the crosstabs is doing, and uh, I encourage you to check out the lecture I have on this rather than just the SPSS analysis, the uh, SPSS, uh, the Pearson chi-square or the contingency table analysis is testing whether the uh, observed frequencies are statistically significant from the expected frequencies. Well, what would we expect uh, what would we expect in terms of the number of people that are left-handed and dyslexic? Well, I can tell you that by calculating those values here. I could multiply 22 by 10, 22 times 10, and then divided that by the total sample size, 250, and it's 0.88. What we would expect, if the null hypothesis were true, is that if the null hypothesis was true, we'd expect 0.88 here, 0.9. Nearly one person would see here, but we see five. Now, is that statistically significant? That's what the crosstabs analysis is doing. And we get the analysis here. Pearson chi-square equal of 22.03, and it's p less than 0 0.001. If we did the continuity correction, uh, which a lot of people advise you to use if your sample size isn't particularly large. You get a chi-square of 17 and a significance level still of p less than 0 0.001. All right, so based on the Pearson chi-square analysis, which is testing whether this cross-tab table is statistically significant from what we'd expect the frequencies to be, uh, we are, in fact, rejecting the null hypothesis. They're not. Now, that's not enough of the analysis, in my opinion. You have to go further. You also have to say, well, what is the relationship? And that's what this table here tells us. Uh, and this is called phi, or some people call it phi, or Kramer's V. And they're both basically the same thing. And it's telling us that there is an association uh, equivalent to basically rounded 0 0.30 between uh, handedness and likelihood of... Uh, reporting that you're dyslexic. So it's basically a Pearson correlation. And I can prove that, in fact, that it is a Pearson correlation by going into analyze, correlate, bivariate, and putting these two variables in, and then just doing an ordinary Pearson correlation. And what do I get? I get 0.297. And the significance level is the same thing as the phi or Kramer's V. So in a very real way, the Pearson chi-square analysis, based on the 2 by 2 contingency table analysis, is basically a Pearson correlation. It's really testing essentially the same hypothesis. But most people uh, very rarely test it that way. In fact, they'll do the Pearson chi-square, report that, and then they'll report phi or Kramer's V, where I've just demonstrated really it's the same thing as a Pearson correlation. Anyway, I ho I'm going to actually follow this up with another video where I talk about low small numbers of expected frequencies and when it's less than five some people argue that you can't do a Pearson chi-square analysis on that you need to do something more robust and I'll follow that up with a uh, with another video talking about that issue anyway I hope you found this useful and I'll catch you next time